everyone and welcome to my first Q&A video. This is really exciting. Uh, thank you to everyone who submitted a question um, and thank you so much for 5,000 subs. That's a lot of people. Um, so thank you for listening to my content and supporting it. Um, yeah, I don't want to waste too much time. So let's just get to the first question. Cybot042. Sorry if I mis <laughs> sorry if I mispronounce anyone's like username or anything. I'm not very good with names. Um, but Cybot042 asks, "What made you start creating audios?" Um, okay, so I've never really been interested in traditional ASMR, like the tapping and the noises and stuff. Like I honestly always thought it was really weird, um, and it kind of made me uncomfortable. Um, but then I discovered like boyfriend roleplay ASMRs in like late 2019, like towards the end of 2019. Um, and then I found this channel that like I really, really liked. Um, and he's like the main VA I listen to now. Um, but before, you know, the world kind of started to end, I can't say the word because YouTube is like on that or whatever. But I went through like something like kind of traumatic. Um, my freshman year of college and I just I kind of had like a very hopeless outlook about like love and like romance and stuff like that um but when I found boyfriend role plays like even though I know they're like the ideal snapshots in a relationship like they really allowed me to kind of open up that part of my heart again <laughs> like without any real world like consequences um and they were just super comforting and it was like everything I needed especially during that time of my life um yeah also just a sucker for cheesy romance things um so I started making audios fairly quickly after like starting to listen to them because I just felt like how much of an impact it had on me and I thought like why not like why not do something that um would help other people um and I'm also a very creative person so making girlfriend role plays was like another creative challenge for me um and also like prior to starting this channel I had another channel like for five years <laughs> where I would vlog and like show my life um so like basically like a girly like lifestyle channel um but it just felt like it wasn't me anymore and I didn't really feel like I was doing much with it so I quit that um and <laughs> you can't find the channel now it technically like it still exists but there, there's nothing on it um but yeah um sorry for going on the rant <laughs> that's why I started making audios thank you so much for your question and then Danger Dan 37 asked a similar question. Um, they asked, out of all the ASMR you could have done, why did you decide to focus on girlfriend slash roleplay? Um, I kind of just answered that question. It was just something I felt like was a real comfort to me during a, during a really difficult time in my life. And I thought it would be fun to write scripts and record them. And now we're here. 5,000 plus people are subscribed to this channel. And yeah, it's been great. <laughs> You're killing me stalls asked what's your perfect meal okay i spent way too much time thinking about my answer to this question and honestly it really depends on whatever i'm craving on any given day um yeah just honestly it really depends and sometimes my cravings are really strange um but i always listen to them i listen to my body if it wants something i just get it for her um but to make my answer short i would say sushi i love sushi honestly i'm not the most adventurous sushi person um but yeah i love sushi it's just like so good like whether it's cold outside or warm i feel like sushi <laughs> i feel like sushi is always a good option Gabriel Rodriguez asked, is there anything you're proud of but wouldn't do again? Um, I also spent a lot of time thinking about my answer to this question and I think I came up with a pretty good one. Um, so my answer would be singing in front of an audience. So I'm a really shy person um, and I have been since I was a kid. Wow, that's shocking. I'm a VA and I'm shy. Um, but I took a vocal technique class last semester. Um, of college and for some reason when I signed up for the class it completely went over my head that I would actually have to sing in front of people 
Um, so we were always singing in front of like each other in like the class and there were only like 13 of us in the class plus our professor and the piano player but I was so scared for like most of the semester until like towards the end like November ish and we had two big performances one for our midterm and one for our final and it took me a really really long time to be completely comfortable in the class um but everyone was like super supportive and encouraging and they were all like performing arts kids like they were all like in the performing arts department of like my college and um i thought it was like really intimidating but they were all like super sweet um but after i did my final performance i was like I'm never ever doing that again um, but I was like really proud of myself for getting over my anxiety and fear and doing something really cool and I have the video forever to prove that I did something scary Cardo asked where are you from I am from the United States um, shocking um, but I was born and raised on the West Coast I will not say which state um, but there are like three options, five if you want to count Hawaii and Alaska. Um, so you can guess pretty easily like where I'm from. Um, obviously, I'm not going to give away my exact location, but yeah, I am from the USA. Bruno asked, oh my goodness, I just, I've had the song from the movie stuck in my head like all day. Anyways, Bruno asked, what is your favorite audio you've made so far and why? Um... I would say either the sleeping in with you one just because it was super relaxing to record and it was more of me than like a character i was playing so i didn't really have to do too much for that one or like the cute girl moves in next door um just because like who doesn't want to have a neighbor that you find cute or that you have a crush on you know i feel like that that's like a foundation for some good some good drama <laughs> Leitalis or Leitalis, <laughs> sorry if I'm messing up your name, um, asked, what is your favorite Pokemon? Um, I never particularly was like a big Pokemon girl growing up. Um, I'm still not, um, but I do know like a couple of Pokemons. Um, I guess my favorite would be Jigglypuff. I used to play a lot of Smash Bros growing up and I would always choose Jigglypuff just because like she reminded me of a stuffed animal. Um, and I thought she was super cute, and I really like cute things, so Jigglypuff is my favorite Pokemon, I guess. <laughs> Saizo the Ninja asked, what are some things that you feel have shaped you into who you are today? Um, this is a really good question, by the way. Um, so I would say like bad experiences, um, in general, or like bad experiences with people, um, but also like good experiences with people like growing up and like even into my adulthood. Um, I would say therapy for sure has like definitely shaped me into who I am today and any music or form of media that like I loved growing up um, or that I love now, um, whether that's like specific songs or just like a specific artist um, or TV show or movie. Aunt Rant asked if you had one wish for anything in the world except more wishes, what would it be and why? Um, Okay, I don't know where to go with this question because on one hand, I can make a wish for something that like only would serve me as an individual, which would be nice, but on the other hand, I could wish for something that could benefit like the whole world or a lot of people. Um, so I'm going to cheat and give two answers. Um, so for the selfish answer, just keeping it like super like surface, um, I would say I would wish to be able to attend a Paramore concert because they've been my favorite band since I was 11 <laughs> and I was so close one summer to going to one of their concerts, but it conflicted with something else that I had to go to. So I was like super upset. Um, but they're releasing another album this year, and I'm afraid this might be their last album in a really, really long time. Um, and if I don't go to see them while they're on tour on this cycle, I will literally, like, throw a fit. It'll be- I'll just be so sad. Um, and then for my humanitarian answer, I would wish that everyone in the world could have access to, like, all the basic essentials for living, like healthy food, a safe place to live, clean water, um, or at least be able to like afford all of those things because it's crazy how even in like first world countries that's like not a thing. It's just it's sad. 
Neil Toyuka asked, favorite mythical creature and favorite superhuman ability? Okay, since I was little, I've always wanted to be a mermaid. And you might think it's because of like the Little Mermaid and Ariel. No, I actually... <laughs> I actually never really liked Disney princesses like growing up not because like I didn't like the idea of being a princess um but I just found like their movies like really boring um yeah I was like where's the plot <laughs> anyways um there's this movie called Aquamarine from like 2006 and it stars like Emma Roberts um and other people who are like famous now I guess and I was just so obsessed with that movie and I just remember being really obsessed with like the color blue of her tail and I was like when I become a mermaid my tail it it will be that shade of blue so a mermaid for my mythical creature and my favorite superhuman ability would be either the ability to teleport or invisibility um I said that word invisibility um but if I had the power of invisibility like it wouldn't be voluntary <laughs> like I would only go invisible if I feel inside like I don't want to be seen or if I'm feeling really anxious or embarrassed um, or something like that just to add some dramatic effect <laughs> sparky snowdrop asked aside from YouTube and ASMR how is your life going school <laughs> school social life relationship etc um, I would say right now my life is going pretty well. Um, I'm actually on a gap semester right now um, because my last semester wasn't the best for me in terms of my mental health and everything. Um, so I decided to take a break. Um, as for my social life, it's okay. It's kind of non-existent just because I go to school really far away from where I live. Um, so none of the people that I would usually be around are around me right now. Um, I do have like a couple of friends who I have at home, um, but we rarely see each other just because of, you know, our conflicting schedules and stuff. Um, as for my relationship, um, which I assume you mean like a romantic relationship, that is non-existent, page not found, I am a single Pringle, um, but I do have a crush, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Nirav Rupani asked, do you play any video games or watch anime? I don't play video games anymore. I used to when I was younger, um, like I mentioned, Smash Bros. Um, I used to play a lot of Sonic on the GameCube. Um, I also played like a lot of Wii Sports and a lot of Mario games on like my Nintendo DS um, and a little bit of Game Boy just because my brother used to have one. Um, as for anime, I've never watched anime in my life <laughs> um but if you guys have any like suggestions for easy to watch like beginner animes like leave them in the comments below and tell me like where i can watch them too that would be helpful um but yeah just any like maybe like not too long or like not too extensive animes would be cool because i always love like watching new things and getting into new things Xenon E asked, what do you believe is the most important and what is the most beautiful thing in life? Um, this answer is going to be super cheesy, but I think that love is the most important thing. Um, love for yourself, love for those around you, love for nature and animals, and love for life in general um, because it can suck sometimes but at least we're still here and that means we get more days to make it suck less. So yeah, love. Thank you for your question. Xenon E also asked, which microphone are you currently using? <laughs> um, so unfortunately I record on my iPhone 12 Pro. I know, super fancy equipment. Um, I just, I didn't want to like buy a whole fancy setup just in case I didn't end up really liking doing this or anything. Um, but it's been a year now and you know, things have been going great. I really like doing this. Um, so I do want to upgrade my microphone soon because I honestly, I feel like the audio quality, it's okay, but sometimes I actually don't think it's the best. Um, but it's taken me this far so we'll see i think i will be purchasing like a new microphone 
relatively soon. And the last question is from Ash ASMR. They asked, how do you deal with the hate comments? As much love as I get, I still find myself dwelling on the bad ones. Just wondering if you had any tips. I'm still super new to this ASMR thing. Ash, thank you for your question. Um, honestly, I don't really find that I get a lot of hate comments. Maybe I'm just lucky. I mean, the channel's pretty small, so obviously the more you grow, the more hate you're gonna get. But luckily, it doesn't seem like the people who listen to my audios are hateful people, so I guess I'm lucky in that regard. Um, but I love doing this and I love doing ASMR. It's fun for me and it's just a great way for me to express my creativity um, and the joy that I get from like making audios and all the nice comments like would outweigh like any hate comments. I've maybe gotten like a couple of hate comments, but honestly, they're just irrelevant. <laughs> so I just kind of forget about them. Um, also, I just think that I'm just a voice on the internet. If people don't like it, they don't have to listen. And also doing this type of ASMR is anonymous. And I think that having that anonymity makes the hate comments hold less weight. Just because like the person writing the hate comment, they have no idea who I am. So it's like, why are you hating on someone's voice? Like that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, hopefully the hate you receive or have received isn't that bad. Um, also, Ash, I went to your channel and listened to a couple of audios, um, and I thought they were super good, so keep going. Okay, we have reached the end of this Q&A again. Thank you so much to anyone who submitted a question. Um, if you want to be in the next Q&A or just have any questions for me in general, pop them down in the comments below. Um, and like I said earlier, thank you to anyone who has listened to my audios, whether you're subscribed or not. I know a lot of people who listen actually aren't subscribed, um, and that's totally cool. Um, just thank you for supporting this channel, and yeah, I love you, and I'll see you or you will hear me in the next audio. Bye!